Let's see if I can get this set up properly. Good morning. I'm about to prepare a bird. Let's see, I think that... Yeah, that works. All right. What they don't teach you. This is the important video. I have a... Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but 15.68 turkey butterball. Um, premium. Turkey. here and I'm going to show you how we're going to prep it that they don't teach you and you should definitely know how so we're going to cut it in cut it open and don't need that don't need that so I've had this defrosting for about two days a day and a half maybe yeah more like a day and a half and um, I am just going to show you a few things that I think are so important. So first of all, just know that the way I'm cooking this um, means that I'm going to be taking off a lot of fat and other things that you just don't need when you cook it um, this way. So please don't be alarmed when I'm throwing stuff away because it's all about the method in which I'm cooking it. So it's still a little bit frozen, not much, but I'm still trying to fight the, uh, the turkey neck out. There we go. You can save that, make broth, make whatever. So I do feel a big chunk of ice in here. You can see that. I'm going to get rid of that. And on the back side, we got the giblets. I know that a lot of people love that stuff. I'm just not one of them. <laughs> so... So here we go. We've got the bird. I've got it uh, butt side, I guess, up. And for me, all of this extra skin and fat that you usually put underneath the bird, I just don't need because it's not the way it's going to be cooking. It just doesn't matter. So I'm going to take it off right now and discard it. And what I want to talk about is the inside of the bird. You get these birds from the butcher or from whoever, and they basically ream out the insides, but they don't clean it. They just ream it. So sure, you know, things are not there that would be gross, but there's still stuff left inside that's very gross. So right now what I'm doing is I'm cutting the backbone a little further back because I want a hole where I can see all the way through the bird from the front to the back. So I'm just cutting off a little bit more of that backbone to create that hole, just the, uh, the backbone, and I'll show you that in a minute. So I'm looking through, and I'm just, really, I'm just cleaning out the inside uh, back portion, making sure that there's no fat, uh, nothing that I don't need. So I can kind of show you. You see there's a nice a hole there now. Now we're going to do the same thing to the front. So I'm going to set it up. And I'm going to cut off its, I guess it's its butt. I don't know. Cut off that. Get rid of it. All of this fat. All of this fat on the inside. Right here. We don't need that. Not for the way I'm cooking it today. So I'm getting rid of all of this fat. I want it as lean as possible because it's going to be cooking in its own juices. And I don't want any grease or excess grease or whatever at the top. Okay. So now we have a pretty well opened up bird. You can kind of see the hole there I created by cutting the backbone. Let's see. But what you can't see is down under the ribs down here all along the ribs and the bottom down here, this backbone, I guess they're not ribs, the backbone, is blood, dry blood, wet blood, pockets of blood. Um, there's also some icky stuff. If you look in, you might see some intestine or you might see some stuff that you don't want to eat and uh, you want to get rid of all that. So my point is you have to clean the inside of the bird. Um, if you use slightly warm water, which is what I'm doing, 
And no matter what kind of way you're cooking it, you need to clean the inside of the bird. So I'm using slightly warm water, and all I'm going to do is run my fingers down the inside of the bird to open the pocket. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you first. Let me dry my hands. I'm going to, I'm going to show you what I'm talking about first. Then I'm going to clean it, and then I'm going to show you the afterwards. That way you get a good sense of what's going on. So, hang on while I draw my hands because I'm going to grab my phone so you can see. Okay. So, here's the bird. I can't see it at the same time you are, but here's the bird in the sink. And you can kind of see in there. You know, I don't know if you can see that point right there. There's something right there that I don't want to eat. Something right there I don't want to eat. So there's quite a lot going on inside there that we need to get rid of. So we're going to try to do that now. Let's see if I can set this back up. Okay. Warm water into the bird. And I'm going to just clean, clean, clean. I'm running my fingers down the backbone every pocket and let me tell you there's stuff coming out i mean it's not pretty especially up in the front so you're going to try to fill every little crevice of that backbone and just squeeze your finger in and and you'll feel stuff that you don't want to eat coming out it's mostly dry blood i think there are a few things like you know that i just know is not supposed to be in there when i'm cooking the bird sometimes i found you know left discarded intestines and other things that I just don't want to eat like that's all blood that's all just you can kind of see I don't know if you can see that but that's stuff you don't want to eat it also you know if you don't like liver which I do not like liver that's basically what that is it's just dried blood so we're cleaning it out the warm water helps break it down here's another piece I just found look not pretty. Helps break down the fat and clean it, clean it out really well. You're gonna see the difference once I'm done here. Almost there. Doesn't take very long. I have my trash can next to me so I can also uh, discard anything so it doesn't go down my sink. So the way I'm cooking this bird, it makes a huge difference. Because I uh, will be letting it just marinate in the cooker with some great apple juice and spices. All right, almost done. Just giving it a once over look. Try to see all the way through the back side. Okay, there's some stuff there. Whoops. So now I'm looking at the back end where I cut the tailbone. And there's a few bits. Good, good. Something that I'm going to cut off. This will not touch my cutting board. It's going to go straight from the sink into the cooker, so I don't have to worry about re bleaching my boards. We do worry about cross contamination, so as soon as this is in the cooker, ready to cook, um, before I put all the spices and herbs in with it, I'm going to go ahead and wash my hands very thoroughly because I'm touching raw meat. And that's how you transfer, as we're all learning more and more these days, I guess. But I think we're done. I think we got it all. Let's see. I don't know what that took. What, 10 minutes? 5 minutes? Whatever. Now it is completely cleaned out. And you can see where all the cavities have been. Um, I pushed on all the cavities to get rid of anything that didn't look appropriate. I do see one last thing I want to cut. Okay, I'll try to show you. So that is 
I don't know if you can see. I have to go down with you. There we go. That is a cleaned out bird. You can see it's all been cleaned. So they don't really show you that. They don't really tell you that. But that's really, really, really important. Okay. So uh, next video to come.